What's happening, everybody? It's your boy, Ooch, and I'm here to share with y'all a very, very special preview clip that will be featured exclusively on the Full Power podcast in full length, as per usual. And if you're a Patreon subscriber to the Full Power podcast, you would have maybe already seen this because they are getting the exclusive rights and the ability to see this video first and foremost. This is a special special preview like I mentioned into an interview that we had with Nasir Pasha the creator of Legend of Dragon Ball Tale and we had him on to honestly just to catch up and to celebrate the 25th anniversary of Naruto but I'm sure that you guys were gonna have some sort of inclination to ask this man about the future of Legend of Dragon Ball Tale or if there even is a future to Legend of Dragon Ball Tale and in fact well I'm gonna leave that up to you guys to decide Decide whether or not there is or not make sure to look forward to the full episode releasing on friday it'll be episode 161 of the full power podcast on the full power podcast channel and i hope you guys enjoy make sure you guys give the video a like and subscribe i'm talking about this one and over there and make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves and have a great day enjoy the preview dragon ball has noticeably it seems like they are starting to slowly open up the potential doors to allow the license of it to other things. Obviously, you're aware of the Fortnite yeah. happening, right? So that was like the first big sign where it's like, oh, it's being licensed out. So I'm all, I'm all, I'm I'm obviously curious if there would if 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 you know anyone at Toei or someone that you can even pitch what the world has already seen like i'm sure it'll be hilarious right because it's like your resume is very illustrious as it is but i'm telling you as your friend you could literally just put your name on the top and just put legend of dragon ball tale with the link and that's all you really need to do you know what i'm saying <laughs> but for the sake of like I guess trying to figure out if it's ever a possibility. Because I will tell you this, Akio Ioku, if he is actually in charge at that drag in Capsule Corp Tokyo, which he's his his whole implementation is he's trying to take over the anime and video game side of things so that way they can get it moving. I'm almost I'm very curious if you were to pitch Legend and they would approve it like would you would you consider even taking that step to just out of curiosity being like hey like i wonder like would you guys be able or would you be interested in even doing allowing this to you know to officially happen with amongst your realms of whatever yeah i think um like i don't entertain the idea because it's it is so impossibly unlikely for that to even be true and the reason is because people liked legend like they liked it so much mm -hmm. that it's almost um in a way like it's so not dragon ball z mm. you know and if anyone ever came to toy animation said we have an idea we want to do something with dragon ball um it would still have to represent dragon ball the way dragon ball wants to be represented what i did was like something completely different uh, like, I don't know what you would call it. Maybe it's more poetic. Maybe it's a bit more rooted in like the character's feelings versus what they have to go through. Like, mm. and if the, if I wrote legend two and three, like to, to finish it all off, it would absolutely go that direction. It, it deals with the spirit world. It deals with like the gods of the, the super Saiyans. Like it's all sorts of stuff that Dragon Ball Z absolutely is not. Mm. And, um, I think it's almost like, why would I, if I was a bigger company, like, why would I want to license something like that when we already know what we want to do with the the company and the property and the short answer is you would want to because it's fun and it could be it could be lucrative for the, the business it could it could be a lot of nice things but mostly like it's not representative of what they've already created so that sort of like daydream i i kind of have let it go if mm -hmm. it's ever going to happen it, it can't be done that way i don't think so i won't say no but it just it's so unlikely in my mind that um, that it could ever be that way. I think I so I think what's going on here, <laughs> right? I think I, I, this is a hunch, right? I think what's going on here 
is a similar situation to when Legend came out and you were in disbelief of just what was going on around the world. You had people freaking out over this. Like, literally, you did something that broke the internet and everyone unanimously was behind what you did. You told me, you had family members saying, you need to do the next one, right? You told right. me that, <laughs> right? And, and like, it is... What you did is very is a very big deal, but it's a, it's a testament to your character that you are probably the most humble person I know, right? Like legit. And that is a compliment, right? Because to be honest, like I'm glad it's you and it's not someone else because anyone else, you know, that that super grubby or whatever, like they would try to use their power of being godlike at making stories to to do something negative or whatever like that. But in this case, you know, the fact that you you have in a way let it go that i, I I'm, I'm not i'm almost not surprised i will <laughs> say though to to argue not really argue but just to just to put it out there the way that they are seemingly handling dragon ball overall like with how they how they see dragon ball z they are slowly like changing that i mean like i'm using the fortnite example because it, it really makes sense like you would never expect an IP like Dragon Ball to ever be in a game like Fortnite because Fortnite is not just a game where people get emotes and dances and they make the characters do shit that they normally wouldn't do in their own like franchises. All these characters can hold weapons. Now, even yeah. though <laughs> even though Saiyans don't need them, but the fact that, you know, obviously like, you know, IP preservation, it's just like the people at Toy would never do that shit. Like, they would never have, like, Goku and Vegeta with, like, an AK-47. You know what <laughs> yeah, I'm saying? No, no. Yeah. But, but the fact of the matter is, is that they do, and they are. And it's it's a thing that you can literally go play and, and, and do that right now. So, all I'm saying is that it may not be as tight-knit as you thought it may have been a few years ago. Because now they're Maybe. slowly opening up to, you know, you know, the potential of, of you know, other things. So mm. they, I will say one yeah. thing, though, mm -hmm. like this is not antagonistic to that point, but um, like a in terms of an ambition. Yeah. And I don't want this to sound like too like, like emotional or anything like that. But when uh, Toriyama died, mm. um, I thought that in a way, like Dragon Ball Z went from like something that is to something that was and i felt like um what i did with legend like when i was drawing it in my in the late hours of the night when everyone's sleeping all i could think is like maybe one day he'll see this and it'll make him smile that's all like if i could do that like my first success is being able to make it the sec second like ultimate grand success would be if he thought it was hey that's cool and if i even if i didn't know if somehow that was possible but the fact that he's not here anymore, that could never be for anything ever again if I made it Dragon Ball related. So whether there's a bunch of accolades that are attached to a project that you make and everyone likes it and they want more, like that, like it's, it doesn't have that much value to me. I like that people enjoy it. That's important to me. Yeah, yeah. But the, the great value is making it. And then the, the ultimate satisfaction that's outside of the art making is knowing that Akira Toriyama might have liked it. Mm. But because he's not here anymore, like he, he was doing his Dragon Ball thing. I was doing my Dragon Ball thing. Like we were both on this cool Dragon Ball path that he created and I was yeah, following. Yeah, yeah. And like, but where's the path now, right? So, it and you can make the opposite argument. Like, don't be done with it. It's now a bigger reason to even continue it. Continue on a legacy or something. But um, I don't know if I see it that way. Uh, but anyway, like it's just something I thought about. But it doesn't mean I let go of that daydream of what it would be like to make Legend too. But, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just a fleeting. Oh, that's that good. <laughs>